Hey, what's up guys? This is NordCamp coming at you on this Blue Friday here at CenturyLink Field. Yes, the Sunday night game isn't for two nights and no, I won't be in the building, which sucks, but had to be here just to get the feel of this place and miss it so much. But I thought on this Blue Friday, since we're playing the Patriots, I uh, here are my six, being that the Patriots have six rings and all that, six keys to the game on how to stop the Patriots. Here we go. Key number one. We've got to contain Cam Newton. Yes, Cam Newton exploded last week, looked pretty good for his opener with the New England Patriots. Rushed for a couple touchdowns, threw for a bunch, but really it was the rushing game of Cam Newton. Miami Dolphins didn't know how to stop him, and that is gonna be the key, first and foremost, is not letting Cam Newton do what he does best, which is rumbling, stumbling, bumbling, running the ball everywhere and getting loose. Seattle, Jamal Adams, I'm talking about you, brother. And also the linebackers, they're going to have to contain Cam Newton, keep him at a minimum to force him to throw the ball. Because if you ask me, throwing the ball is not his specialty. Make him do what he doesn't want to do, and they don't really have much of a receiving core. So contain Cam Newton. Key number two, we've got to win the turnover battle. Yes, turnovers are huge, as you know. They can change the game completely, and we've got to be on the positive side of that. I prefer to see no turnovers whatsoever, but as long as we are on the positive side, more, all right, that the, the New England Patriots have to have more turnovers than us no matter what at the end of the day. That will be a good thing for Seattle because no matter what, you could be playing great, but you have a turnover at the worst time of the game, boom! It can completely go, blow up in your face and change the entire course of the game. Can't let that happen. Gotta win the turnover battle. Key number three, we've got to execute. Execute, execute, execute. We don't have to be the greatest team out there. We don't have to be the number one team. We don't have to be the best team, but we just gotta execute what we do. Go Hawks, baby! We got to do what we do best, and that means execution. What do I talk about? I'm talking about being, the, you know, making them explosive, sexy, huge plays. But you just got to do the little things. DK Metcalf, you can't drop those 20-yard passes down field, giving the the Patriots defense a free down. You got to hold on to the ball. You've got to you've got to you know, minimize the penalties. Don't jump on the snap count. Don't jump on, on the ball. And if, you, if you're on the offense, we're at home. It's quiet here. No false starts. Don't hold. Just the little things. You have to do those little things right. Because against Bill Belichick and the Patriots, if you make too many mistakes and don't execute, they'll take advantage and turn this game around in a heartbeat. Key number four, we've got to prevent the big play. Talking the explosive play. We're talking 20 yards or more down the field. See, if Seattle's defense can keep everything in front of them and not let people get behind them for those big, gimme, huge plays, I think that is the key to stopping Cam Newton and this offense. Keep everything in front, give them the little stuff, bend but don't break, and then stop them and keep them from going into the end zone. Limit it to field goals, but keep them out of the end zone, but definitely don't make it easy on them. Don't let guys beat you deep. These guys shouldn't beat you deep. You have more talent in the secondary than these guys do at the receivers. So you gotta keep everything in front. Don't fall for those fakes. Don't uh, let Cam Newton run and break free for a long run. Just keep everything in front, minimize the explosive plays, and our defense should be in good shape. Key number five, 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 five. We got to let Russ keep cooking. Yes, Russell Wilson was awesome in his debut last week against the Atlanta Falcons. Better than I could have dreamed of. He was running. He was passing. He was throwing. He was 31 for 35 with only four incompletions. He had as many touchdowns as he did incompletions. Should have had more or less incompletions, if not for a couple of drops here and there. So Russell Wilson was awesome. We just got to let Russ do what Russ does. Let him keep cooking. And yeah, maybe it won't be that quite, that big of a of a passing type of scenario against the Patriots. They are a de different defense, better secondary, so we've got to be more smart. I'm sure we'll run the ball more, but still, let Russell Wilson be the, the commander in chief out there on the field and let the offense flow through him. Because when Russell Wilson makes the decisions and he decides when it's time to run, he decides when he wants to throw the ball. When he decides to keep it, it's going to be a good day for Seattle. So Russell, keep on cooking, baby. We love it. And finally, key number six: we got to stay healthy. This is the one thing that nobody really talks about is the key to the game, but I think it's a huge key. As we talked about in our round table earlier in the week, my buddy Noah Bolter said, what's the, what's the one reason that the Seahawks lose? Russell Wilson gets hurt. Ah! We don't even want to talk about that. It could happen though, so we don't want it to happen. We got to knock on some wood somewhere, knock on concrete or something because we just do not want to have any injuries because right now, we're a pretty good, healthy state right now. We want to keep it that way. We've seen a lot of games already where key people from around the league are going down with injuries, with, with hamstrings and knees and, and torn Achilles and all that. Please, 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 football guys, let the Seahawks come away through this game, staying healthy, 
for the whole season, ideally, but especially in this game, keep everybody healthy, let our players be on there. We are a better, more talented team than the New England Patriots. So if we can stay healthy and do all those other five things I talked about, we should win this game. I predict a game with a very familiar score that you've seen before, 28 to 24. Seattle wins it on prime time, baby. Goes 2 0 here at home. Woo! See! Hawks! See! Hawks! See! Hawks! Let's go! Woo! Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Love you guys. Go Hawks.